Hey y'all, Jeremy here with FM Custom Baits. Um, just a quick video real quick about some of the equipment I was using last win last weekend, not last Wednesday, but last weekend. Um, this video is a little late. I did come down with a cold, so I'm just gonna go over uh, quickly uh, some of the equipment I was using. So last week, you guys saw me throwing uh, multiple uh, lures and, and reels and that. So first one I was through in the video, uh, this is probably not gonna make the video. Uh, I was testing out, out this crankbait that we made a couple weeks back. Uh, this is just a little simple square wheel crankbait uh, that we made. And I did get it tested. Now I'll throw a little bit of footage in there of it, but the rod it's on that I was using to test the lure with is a it's a ducket rod, seven seven six. Uh, it's medium heavy. I've got ten pound Academy branded fishing line. Um, I'm cheap like that. I don't like real expensive fishing line. I typically use Strand or Berkeley Solutions um, fishing line, but. Yeah, and I've got in the reels a uh, loose Speedspool Tournament Series reels, uh, six to four to one gear ratio. Another rod reel. It's just a simple spinner reel setup. It's a loose speed spin uh, Mach one, I believe. Yes, yeah, a Mach one, uh, and it's still uh, six six medium fast action fast pro shops. Uh, spinning rod and the first fish you see me catch I was using a five inch uh, big bite baits grub on a one eighth ounce jig head by big bite baits as well uh, using I'm using eight pound test line uh, Berkeley solutions uh, it's in a red box best line I've ever used for a spinning reel it's very low memory uh, fishing line is easily manageable as well it's got a really really thin diameter another really guy that's not gonna make the cut for various reasons um, but the rise is more than likely see in the video it's a loose speed spool it's a $99 reel it's a really good reel for the price of your budget angler and I was throwing a jerk bait I don't remember what kind of jerk bait this is uh, I didn't catch anything on this but this has got 10 pound test line uh, again this is Academy branded fishing line it's held up my tournament season now the fish you do see me catch is on this setup right here this is a Abby Garcia Pro Max this is an $80 reel I have not had any problems out of it I've used it heavily uh, throughout my tournament season and this reel has performed really well. This is a seven foot ducket micro magic rod. It's got a, it's medium action. It's got a fast tip. It's just perfect. And this is a known secret within our tournament community. I, I don't know why. I, personally, I don't care. But this is a five inch yum dinger. This is Texas rig, mind you, by the way. This is a Texas rig. I always put a glass bead on the bottom um, and then the bullet weight. I'm using a 4 aught H2O Express Academy branded EWG hook. And the secret to this lure is this right here. There's this little tiny blade on the bottom. Don't know why, but they call it the spinning worm. Uh, Mike Iaconelli, not calling you out, buddy. Uh, he he let this out in a video a while back. Hey, this is really no big secret anymore. I don't see what the big fuss is, really. So, yeah, so this is just some of the equipment I was using, some of the gear I was using in last week's video. Um, next week there will be a video. I'll have to do a video this weekend, a uh, simple how-to. Um, a video on like simple how to tie knots if you're a beginner angler want to get into a sport sport of fishing it's not really hard the other thing i was using i was using a 3 8 ounce poison tail uh swim jig I, I poured these myself years ago this is a long time ago i actually destroyed the mold trying to modify it but yes yeah, a 3 8 ounce uh, poison tail with an ewg 
about a 30 degree bend hook with a zoom swimming flute trailer and the skirt I bought it from one person online and I can't remember so yeah so that's about all the equipment I've got um, if you notice anything on this boat is kind of naked we stripped it this morning it's going to get some dirt done for right before next tournament season that's all I got to say, and uh, we'll see you out on the water in tight lines. I want to point out, um, if you hear some random screaming going on in the background, that is my brother, the Michigan Wolverines and Ohio State football games on, and I'm, I'm, I'm not a big football guy, so I'm assuming they are doing pretty good uh, with some pretty good plays, I guess. I don't know. I'm more of a baseball guy. So if you hear any random screaming, that is why um, there's nothing bad going on so it's just the football game that's on and one thing i do show in the video in the fishing video is this little doohickey right here this is a hook remover best tool you will ever have in your tackle box outside of a scale or a pair of needle nose throw those away this right here will get the hooks out of a fish treble hooks EWG hook, straight shank hooks, whatever shank hook, jack leg shanked hook, the weird V bend U shaped hooks, it'll get them out. This is one tool, it's just a simple hook remover tool you can get from Academy. Morning, Jeremy, FF Custom Baits. This morning, we're going out to Sweetwater, still at the house, Just waiting for it to warm up a little, but we're gonna go and try to catch some fish out of Sweetwater Creek. State Park and go back into the main creek. Here we are, folks. The old Sweetwater Creek State Park. I've been fishing out this lake, ah, give or take over 20 years since 92. And we are not fishing this main lake. We are actually walking back to the creek. And like I said, about 820,000 times, we'll see you shortly. Hopefully nobody's back here. It's kind of a little hidden gym. So we will see you in a little bit when we actually start fishing and get the tripod set up. See y'all soon ish. Ah! Well, just missed one. I thought he would come back and hit that. Usually with these fish, you miss one, chances are they're not coming back to hit the same lure. Here we go. A little, little spotty spot. Slam that grub. Oh, musta. A chunky little booger. Nice and cool.
All right, folks, we got a change of plans. Uh, there is someone else down here fishing the creek. Back in the area I wanted to fish. He was off to my right on the spillway. Uh, so we ended up moving farther down the creek, uh, just off to the left side some more. That fish had it the whole time. He might have actually swallowed that one. No, no, no. Get up, here. Woo, there we go. Fish number two. On that spinny worm. Oh man, I keep letting that secret out. I'm sorry, y'all ain't no secret. I can only let that out years ago. There's fish number two out of Sweetwater, out of the creek. there buddy that is a pretty fish fish number three Whew. he's a chunky little booger a load of that sucker yeah gotta show the other camera Be some more over there, who knows? 
I didn't even feel that fish hit. be a bigger one now. Yeah, yeah, he's a little bigger. Oh yeah, he's definitely bigger. Now that's a spot right there, buddy. That is a pretty fish. It's fish number three. Whew. He's a chunky little booger. And a load of that sucker. Yeah, I gotta show the other camera. It's a pretty fish. See you, Buster. Oh. Um, hope it didn't knock you unconscious. All right, y'all. Uh, we're, we're up here at the main lake. Uh, we're gonna try to, uh, there's actual bass. She's sitting right there we're gonna do a swim test on this crankbait just got up out of the creek i'm on the main reservoir now what does bass will eat it i wonder if he's hungry It runs pretty good, if you ask me. Looks good in my house. Probably dives four to five feet. There's that fish right there. Good castability on it. That fish is right there. I'm soft, pretty, yeah. 